You've just finished installing Linux Mint 22.3, and before you start installing random apps or tweaking things blindly, this is the moment where good habits make a real difference. What we're doing here is not rushing. We're building a stable, clean, and comfortable system that you can rely on every day. Think of this as setting the foundation of a house. If this part is solid, everything you add later feels easier and safer. Let's begin with system updates because this step quietly affects everything else. Even though Linux Mint looks ready right after installation, the version you installed was created at a specific time. Since then, security patches, kernel fixes, driver improvements, and bug fixes have already been released. Open the Update Manager from the panel. Let it refresh. You'll see a list of updates, some small, some important. Install all recommended updates. Don't skip them. This ensures your system talks properly with your hardware, avoids random crashes, and stays secure. If Mint asks you to restart afterward, do it calmly. This restart locks in stability from day one. Once updates are done, it's time to handle multimedia codecs. This is one of those things new Linux users notice quickly. You click on a video and nothing happens, or audio plays but video doesn't. That's because certain formats are not installed by default for legal reasons. Install the full package. This enables support for common formats like MP3 audio, MP4 video, streaming playback, and screen recordings. After this, media just works. No tinkering, no troubleshooting later. Now let's talk about security in a practical way, starting with the firewall. Linux Mint already protects you better than many systems, but a firewall adds an extra barrier between your system and unwanted network traffic. Open Firewall Configuration from the menu. You'll see a simple interface. Enable it. That's all you need for normal desktop use. You don't need to touch advanced settings or rules. Just turning it on quietly blocks unnecessary access attempts and gives you peace of mind, especially when using public or shared networks. Next, let's address antivirus. And yes, this is intentional. Linux doesn't get hit by viruses the same way Windows does, but that doesn't mean antivirus is useless. If you download files, use USB drives, or share data with Windows users, scanning files is still a smart move. Install ClamAV from the Software Manager. After installation, update its virus database. You can configure scheduled scans if you want, or simply use it manually when needed. Think of ClamAV as a filter rather than a shield. It helps prevent you from unknowingly passing infected files to others. Now we move to one of the most powerful tools in Linux Mint, Time Shift. This is not optional if you care about system safety. Time Shift creates system snapshots, which are basically restore points. If an update breaks your desktop, if a driver causes issues, or if you accidentally change something critical, Time Shift lets you roll back the system like nothing happened. Open Time Shift and choose the recommended snapshot type. Select a drive with enough space. Enable automatic snapshots, daily or weekly depending on your usage. Once this is set, you can explore Linux without stress. With safety and recovery handled, it's time to make the system useful by installing your preferred applications. Open the Software Manager. This is where Linux Mint shines for beginners and advanced users alike. Search for browsers, media players, office tools, editors, and utilities you actually need. Install only what you use. Keeping the system lean helps it stay fast. If you're comfortable with the terminal, you can also use apt for installations. Both methods are valid. The key idea is consistency and trust. Stick to official repositories whenever possible. Now let's talk about running Windows applications because this is a common concern for people switching to Linux. This is where Bottles comes in. Bottles provides a clean, modern way to run Windows software using isolated environments. Install Bottles from the Software Manager or via Flatpak. Once installed, open it and create a new bottle. Each bottle is its own container, so apps don't interfere with each other. This is great for productivity tools, legacy software, or apps that don't yet have Linux versions. Bottles makes compatibility manageable instead of messy. Finally, let's personalize the desktop, because comfort matters. Open system settings and explore themes first. Choose a window theme that feels right to your eyes. Adjust icon packs so folders and apps are easy to recognize. Set your font size properly, especially if you're on a high-resolution display. Move to panel settings. Adjust its size, position, and behavior. Add applets you actually use and remove the ones you don't. 
Small changes here reduce friction every day. You can also tweak workspace behavior, keyboard shortcuts, and power settings. None of this needs to be extreme. The goal is familiarity. Linux Mint is designed to stay out of your way, so once it feels natural, productivity improves automatically. By the time you finish these steps, you're not just running Linux Mint. You've shaped it into a reliable daily system. It's updated, secure, backed up, compatible with your workflow, and visually comfortable. From here, you can experiment, learn, and explore without stress. This is the kind of setup that lasts, and once it's done, Linux stops feeling like an experiment and starts feeling like home.